Good morning, family and coach Jen here. I am going to make today grain free, um, low carb waffles. I like waffles, right? So you're going to need a handy dandy bowl. You're going to need almond flour, need a spoon. I guess I should have probably put it up there because I so did not. Um, I don't have my recipe pulled up next to me. You are going to need, my bad, sorry, you know me. It's always just jacked up treats, right? You need a teaspoon. And a cup, a cup. And that's it. All right, so you are going to put in your almond flour. You need almond flour, which I don't keep the bag. I just throw it all in my handy dandy container. So almond flour, mozzarella cheese, one egg, sprinkle of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one tablespoon of the no teaspoon. I'm sorry, I said tablespoon. So you're gonna start off by taking your egg and vanilla, one egg, and your vanilla. One teaspoon and mix it together. Then you're going to mix in your baking powder and almond flour. That's a big spoon. That's it. So for your almond flour, you're going to need one tablespoon. Table, big. One of those. This is going to make two um, two waffles. And the baking powder. Which... Dry the mail off. And sprinkle the dash sprinkle of your cinnamon. A little extra. Who doesn't like extra cinnamon and vanilla? I always overpour on both those. And we are going to kind of stir that up a little bit. And then we're going to add the cheese. Need one cup of mozzarella cheese. In one cup of cheese, you're going to throw that in there. 
I'm gonna cover, coat that evenly on the cheese. Meanwhile, you guys, I'm going to plug in my Andy Andy. I have a little tiny, little tiny baby um, waffle maker, which I found at Christmas time. They had um even at like CVS, but I found mine I think at Kohl's. Even Target carries them now. So I go ahead. I went and plugged that in. Let it heat up a little bit. Okay, I'm coating. It doesn't even sound good. Like cinnamon and cheese and this is good for like keto if you're trying to watch your carbs. It's good. You can use low fat cheese. I'm going to go get some spray to spray my. And put it underneath my thing so I don't want to make a mess. I want to clean up. Steam is all, my thing's all steaming because I just washed it. My little um, waffle maker. Don't mind that bottle of alcohol back there. It's not mine. <laughs> all right, you guys. My waffle maker is heated up. I'm going to turn it. You'll probably tip on me. Let's see if I can do it this way. No. Sorry, you guys. This is technical video camera crap. I'm not good at at all. Oh. Go ahead and spray that down. And then you're just going to spoon a little bit on there. Probably too much, but that's all right. We're gonna close it up and then you're gonna let it cook for like five minutes. I was really bad at watching time. And while that's happening, I'm going to start from you. So we got five minutes for that to cook. Okay, while you um. While you're waiting for this, I will tell you what you can use as far as, I'm totally making a mess, I put way too much in there. Um, you can use like for toppings, you can do um, berries, you can do your nuts, you could do, um, I do sugar, the sugar-free syrup, I can show you what I got. Um, I actually use this brand. Um, I'm not sure you can find this in the grocery store, the regular grocery stores. I ordered it online. 
they um, are very keto friendly, so I get my sugar from them. They've got brown sugar, white sugar, um, chocolate chips. So a little on the pricey side, but that's what I use. Um, this they have in the grocery store, Walden by Walden Farms pancake syrup. This is also sugar free, and I think they carry this in a um, different flavors, if I'm not mistaken, like maybe strawberry and stuff like that. But I don't really care. I don't think I really care for this. This has like an aftertaste to it. I feel like for this one, not so much. Um, but you can do your like Cool Whip if you you want light Cool Whip um, with fruit. And that's it. I've made these. Not I take the cinnamon and vanilla out, but I've made these. You can make them like a sandwich, just like for sandwich breads. And you can put your um, lunch meat and mayo and toppings, whatever you want on there. I've, I've done it like a sandwich. You can make a little mini pizza out of it. I put some like seasonings in there, the you know your Italian seasonings, and make like a um, pizza flavoring. Um, there's a ton of different kind of recipes. Look up if you like this. Look up um, shackles. I think they call them shackles. And you will be able to, they have a ton of different recipes out there for these. I'm just going to check it. Ooh, I'm a little burnty. So I'm not quite five minutes on this one. It's hot. All right, you guys, there's my one waffle. And I'm going to continue making these. And then that's it, you guys. It's super simple. I'm sure if you have like a big waffle maker, you can use the as well. I've never made on the big one because typically I'm stingy and only make them for myself. I don't share with my family. So <laughs> um, I do make regular waffles for them, but on the big one, I don't make these ones for them. So if you try it, please take a picture or let me know what you think about it. Make a different version, different flavor, let me know. Have a great day, you guys. You never know how to work this.